I started training at 11 years old and I started competing at 15 years old, you know, so I started young and uh, I was on stage at 15 years old and, you know, my first contest I got fourth place. I competed probably five or six more times and I was getting second, thirds and fourths and, uh, you know, I went in another show and I was expecting to win. My father was driving down two hours to watch me compete. He had never seen me compete before. You know, I ended up not placing in the show. I didn't make top five. And uh, I was devastated. And uh, I had to make a choice. I had to do whatever it took. what your goals are, you know, it could be you want to be a doctor. One day you may is basically to motivate you to continue moving forward. Um, a lot of people obviously think that this is my goal, this body, that this is my goal in life, which is pretty crazy. But, um, you know, it, obviously it is somewhat of a goal and it is something I enjoy and something I've been doing since I was 11 years old. But obviously for me, there's much more to life than lifting weights. And, uh, you know, I own businesses and I own real estate and I have a lot of things going on. And, you know, you have to have goals. That's what keeps you alive. You know, you got to have dreams. You got to have, you got to be motivated. You got to be positive. And every day, you know, is a day lost. If one day you wake up and you get nothing done that day, that's a day you can't get back. You know, and day after day after day after day, it all adds up to success. And uh, one day you may, it just stands for, you know, positive, you know, to keep moving in the right direction. And uh, I just get a lot of people feel like, a lot of people think it's just to do with weightlifting. We've all made mistakes in our life. We've all done things or said things we're not proud of. And it takes a real man to stop and realize he's made a mistake and apologize. And he did that for a lot of the things he did in his life. And he didn't have to, but he did that because he was a real man. And he was more concerned with making sure that people still wanted to listen to his positivity and his message and change the world and change people's lives. We're all in this together, but none of us are getting out alive. So please, Please stay strong and lift each other up. Stop tearing each other down. The world needs more positive people like Rich. So please stay positive, stay strong, do whatever it takes, and be that 5%. Please make him proud. And, and please continue on with his legacy.